My granddaughters, Marilyn and Joanna, stand in a long line of strong, accomplished, biblical women. Here are seven. Miriam was Moses' sister. She demonstrated wisdom, negotiating on behalf of her infant brother Moses before Egypt's elite in Exodus chapter 2. Ruth, though not of Hebrew heritage, was used by God to preserve the Hebrew family. Her lineage linked Messiah with the human family and Ruth. Naomi was Ruth's mother-in-law. She stood strong in the face of insurmountable human odds. Naomi proves the sovereignty of God comes in ways none of us can anticipate. Abigail stood up to a king and lived to tell about it. Negotiating on behalf of her foolish husband, Abigail charmed David. Abigail stands for brains and beauty, a navigator of difficult situations in 1 Samuel 25. Deborah, a prophetess, saw what seasoned male leadership could not. Tenacity marks Deborah, the first in a long line of women whose connection to heaven made her indispensable on earth in Judges 4 and 5. Huldah is noteworthy as a scholar, an academician. When no one else could figure out what the book of the law meant, Huldah was asked to interpret. Huldah attested to the historicity of scripture, prophesied about its meaning, and prompted kingly reforms in 2 Kings 22. Esther found herself in a place she didn't anticipate. She saved the day and future of the Hebrews. She listened, learned, and acted when no one else could in the book named after her. My granddaughters also stand in a long line of accomplished, strong women. Grandma Jenny, Grandma Kale, Grammy, Arlie, Aunt Jan, Aunt Sarah, Aunt Grace, and her mother, Chelsea. During March, celebrate Women's History Month with the Cominius Institute. God used strong women throughout history to blaze the trail for strong female leadership we see today. For Truth in Two, this is Dr. Mark Eckel, President of the Cominius Institute, personally seeking truth wherever it's found.